the ANC in the France's Barb region, that's in the Kimberley area, have thrown their weight behind Sol Plotki Mayor Mangalisa Matika. Matika is under pressure to resign following the municipality's handling of the controversial electricity tariff hike that was proposed for the city. Our reporter Keith Seister has been following the story. The Soplaki branches of the ANC this morning had a press conference where they have actually pledged their support for the cause of the community here in Kimberley, but they have urged communities to sort of stay away from violence and looting. Now with me is a branch secretary, Lebang Maraba, to give us an indication of what actually was more what was discussed in that press briefing this morning. Good afternoon to you, Lebang. What was the gist of that press briefing that you had this morning? Afternoon, sir. Uh, we've met as branches of the ANC and we've also alluded that we are in full swing of the support of our community in the price of the 260 that was scrapped off as the ANC, the caring ANC that has scrapped off the issue of the 260. Uh, we've noted that the first match that was very much peaceful that we agreed upon. That is why the ANC then took a decision to scrap off the 260 out of the memorandum that was submitted. That is why the ANC also assisted in working, making sure that they've requested uh, the, 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 the members to be patient with them in dealing also with the issue of the MM and the CFO, which the ANC has already dealt with. And uh, now we are meeting today as a confused because of now the call for the mayor, which is not actually been made clear as to say exactly why should the mayor resign. But we are saying to our community that we are in support. We know the plea of the 260, especially with the economical rate of our province, with the high level of unemployment. It was in no ways that the ANC will support such a call with our municipality. But uh, today we've met and said that we need to have a normal environment in Khalishiwe. We need our young people to go to school. With the previous years that we had a very dropping of matriculants and also levels in school. So we are calling on the organizers of that march to not disturb any schooling processes, also to also make sure that we rebuild the economy of our town. Because of where we are seated at is that we are sitting in a very dirty town. We are seated in a town whereby we no longer have shops because of they've been looted. We are struggling. Because of in order for you to go buy bread, loaf bread of, uh, of bread, you must take a taxi to go and buy tender and bread that we could have just bought in next to our shops. So we are please requesting our communities to bear in mind, to bear with us, and to be patient also with the ANC in the call for, 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 for unifying the ANC. Also, we want to make a plea with the leaders of the, of the strike to say, any corruption that they have evidence to, please, they must go to the authorities. They must open cases. As the ANC took a resolution last year in, in, in Nazareth to say we must fight corruption. We must be the first people who deal with corruption. Now we are calling on our communities that they must go out there, take whatever that they have, go and open up cases, and we will support. But we cannot support a call of corruption without anything that we can be tangible for us to work on. Now there was also a call for violence and, and looting to be stopped. Um, what do you want, in fact, how are you going to get communities to work together with you? How are you going to um, sort of uh, convey this message over the communities other than using the media? Uh, we've agreed as branches that we must go back. We must start convening branches, all members. We must not just call ANC members. We must call our community society at large. We are also calling upon the councillors of the ANC, in fact not only of the ANC but all councillors in the municipality to go back and talk to the communities. That's what we need right now to inform our communities to make sure that we bring our communities on board. We also want to say uh, we know that on Sunday that churches already has also agreed to meet up and have a prayer to bring, make sure that we bring peace into the state. We must all become united and we must sit around the table and discuss uh, uh, and, and, and have a process of discussing these things going forward but we must go back to our branches we must go because of these are our members and we cannot throw them out we must go back to them now I want to ask you that isn't it isn't it a little bit a late shouldn't you have stepped in earlier to sort of prevent the situation and and and, and have a lot of other stakeholders involved to help you sort of quell the situation because what happened now could probably have been um, avoided yes we can agree that it can be late but again it cannot be late 
you know, because of even the second march, we were expecting a peaceful march. We did not expect any looting. That is why I believe also the authorities gave uh, permission for the march to take place. Because of we were also expecting a peaceful march, this was a march by the community. But uh, because of now it became into something else that you cannot understand exactly as to what is happening. It has become, because of the memorandum at first did not include the mayor in it. The second memorandum had two options. It said the mayor or the CFO or an, an MM, MM. The mayor, uh, the, the CFO and the MM were removed. Now again we are now questioning to say now where does this issue of the mayor coming from? That is why we are also pleading to our leadership on top to engage with these comrades and we must also go and engage with our communities at the branch levels. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. There we spoke to a branch secretary of the uh, ANC and Sop, a Sop like a branch of the ANC here in Kimberley, giving us the way forward as to what they would expect from the community to take this, to quell the situation of violence here and, and protest in, in, this, in the city.